Hello, everyone in YouTube land. We love some back here as always. All right, um, <clears throat> I was gonna do a video about this a couple days ago, but I just wanted to wait, wait a while. I didn't forget, I just wanted to wait, I guess. But this is news that interests me, obviously, that's why I'm doing it. Um, Capcom is preparing multiple Nintendo Switch titles. Uh, I got this news off of I actually had to find the link again on my Twitter because I posted it on my Twitter. I guess it was like three days ago. But anyways, yeah, they're preparing multiple Switch games. I guess Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers did sell pretty well for them. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised by that too because I didn't buy it. But um, this is good news though. Hopefully Capcom will support the Switch until the Switch life cycle and not half-ass support. Um, I'm just kind of reading it here. Uh, I guess yeah, Street Fighter sold 450,000 copies, I believe. I don't know if that's a worldwide or whatever. But... Um, yeah, I just, I just hope they don't have half-ass support for the Switch. And hopefully they bring in titles that should be on the Switch that should have been there months ago, like Disney Afternoon Collection and the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Not just Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, but also Mega Man, the first one, that only came to 3DS. Um, I can definitely see that happening. You know, especially those are just not, any, you know, there's no physical copy, especially with the Disney Afternoon Collection. I think there's a physical copy coming out for the Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. And there was a physical copy for the first one. It was on the 3DS and Xbox One and PS4 and all that stuff. So it's possible those two will be there. Those are like my wish list. Um, I'm getting kind of ahead of myself here, but hopefully the Resident Evil 2 remake will come to the Switch. Even though it hasn't been officially shown off or whatever. Like it could still be vaporware. Who the hell knows? But it is good news to see Capcom doing that. Uh, even games that I really don't personally care about, hopefully come to them. I, ho hopefully it comes to the Switch, like Mo the new Monster Hunter. It's coming to PS4, I believe. Is it Xbox One or just PS4? I don't know. Is it new Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter World or whatever? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, that's like the first Monster Hunter game to come to a non-Nintendo system in a while. Because it's been exclusively to Nintendo system since the Wii and the 3DS. Or Monster Hunter, I guess, try or whatever. Um, which is great. I don't personally care for Monster Hunter, but yeah. And Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite would be another great one for that to come to Switch. Maybe Street Fighter V, I guess. Um, let me guess they looked at the sales for Street Fighter 2. The final... Alter Street Fighter 2. I guess they looked at the sales, and maybe they'll bring that. Um, hopefully it's not Street Fighter or whatever else. Uh, let's just see here. But my main stuff is like Disney Afternoon Collection, Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2. And then if the Resident Evil 2 remake is a thing, and if it's good, I'll care about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. It's kind of all up in the air right now what they'll bring to the Switch and how long they'll support the Switch because the Switch is doing great. All right, there's just no fucking reason for any third parties to not support the Switch right now. Um, I mean, it may not be doing as great as the Wii, but it's very, very fucking close. Like, it's really fucking close to being on that level of, like, this is a mainstream success, alright? There is no reason for you not to support the Switch with any of your games. You don't limit that support at all. You know, like, oh, we'll just bring this and this, and this is alright, but not this. We'll hold back games like Disney Afternoon Collection, it's like, why? Like, that should be there. Like, I want to see that type of support where it's like everything. Um, a lot of people want Resident Evil 7 to come. If Resident Evil 7 does come to the Switch, I don't want it to be full price. Hopefully it's at least 30 or $40 at the most. That's that's where I'll, right there. I think it's like $40 right now. You can buy it. I think it's, the price has dropped. Um, which is not surprising, because usually games like that they do game's been out since January, so... Yeah, a lot of people want Resident Evil 7 on there. I'm not learning to rush. I'm like, oh my god, I need Resident Evil 7. If it does, I will buy it at $30 to $40 at the most. That is it. But other than that, no. 
Um, I just want Disney Afternoon Collection, Mega Man stuff, and then Resident Evil 2. So, we'll wait and see. So, anyways, comment down below what you think about this. I'll put the link in the description. It was a couple days ago, but not that long ago. Better late than never. So, peace out. More random videos come soon. Later. Bye.